Right, this is a uh, short demonstration video, uh, basically by a novice for a novice, of how to use the mill I'm selling on eBay. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight uh, 1.5 horsepower mill. Uh, basically, uh, you want to raise and lower the, uh, the head on the column. We use the supplied spanner with these bolts back here. That allows you to move to rotate the head left and right, and also using this uh, lever here, you can lift and, and lower the head to the height you want based on how long your tool is. I'm just going to tighten that down again. Show you how to uh, attach something into the R8 taper. This is the uh, high quality um, chuck that I'm selling with the mill. I was not too crazy about the one that came with it, it had a lot of run out. So basically, you're going to spin this um, R8 taper until, you, until that keyway finds its home. Then you push it close to the top up here where I'm going to then spin the uh, draw bar into the R8 tapered fixture. As you'll see here I added a, um, a thrust bearing. It's a needle thrust bearing. It uh, reduces the uh, friction in between these two surfaces, makes it far easier to tighten without damaging your draw bar. So go ahead and snug that up. So now you've got a good friction seal on your, your taper. Now it's on its fastest speed now. So you go ahead and turn it on so you can hear it run. mode so I can take the quill, move it down rapidly and easily, and then with spring tension it comes back up. Um, if you want to use use it in a more precision mode, we'll tighten that down and then you can use this wheel here to do precise um, motions. Uh, now you've got the table here, similar thing, use a wheel to crank it left and right. Um, these two leaf springs here, um, what they do is they tighten the jibs that hold it and um, basically you want them snug during normal use or you can tighten it down hard and it will lock that axis in place while you're using the other axes. Um, then you've got the same two leaf springs for the Y axis located on this side. Um, also very important, you've got several spots along the mill where you're going to want to um, forcefully inject your whey oil to uh, keep it nice and lubricated. Um, last thing here, this is what tightens and secures the uh, z-axis. Um, what I like to do is just have it a little bit snug when I'm doing my precision um, z motions and that will keep it from having any clay. And if you're not going to use the z-axis, just go ahead and lock it down and mess with the uh, y and x. And uh, as always, the most important thing is you want absolute rigidity when you secure a piece to, to your table. It has to be as secure as possible. That's the number one uh, issue that, that novices have, such as myself. you got to have your work holding nice and secure. And that's about it.